feels like game day. I'm a little bit nervous and excited. I'm about to do my first uh, overnight kayak uh, camping trip, but I'm going with some other guys. So it's gonna be four of us going down the Holston River. I'm waiting on Josh to come pick me up now, but man, I, I've got, hopefully I've got everything I need. I've got food and um, more food. And of course, uh, like a sleeping stuff. And you know, hopefully I can load it all down in my kayak and everything, but should be pretty fun. So hopefully Josh will be here in a minute and we'll, uh, we'll start heading up the river. You ready to do this? Ready. So <laughs> pretty ready. excited. So ready. All right, we got uh, four kayaks. We're all getting in this Jeep over here. So hopefully uh, everything will ride and we're heading up to the river to put in. And it's journey is beginning. Got Eric over here. I'll leave his uh, YouTube videos, description stuff in there. I already got uh, Bubba and Josh. They're just, they're taking off, ready to go. I think I got everything I need. Um, it's kind of weird putting everything in here on the kayak. I've never done this like this before, so. Should be uh, good to get in the water. Just gonna start fishing. We got, definitely got smallmouth, and there's trout for sure. You know, large stuff like that too. So, really going for the smallmouth though. That's, so, we got a six, seven mile float today. And I think that, that and maybe a little more tomorrow. And I'm not sure how this video is going to go, but hopefully it goes great. Fish on. Boom. A little smiley. Hopefully the first fish of the minute. <laughs> Dude. Josh already got one before I even got my kayak in. And we've been here, uh, I've been out here 10 minutes and I already got one little small mouth. So uh, this is just a little guy, but man, this is a start. And there's definitely some big ones in here and hopefully the day definitely keeps on going because we could rack up on a lot of fish. That one was on the Helger mic. Number one. Oh, there's a fish. I watched him eat it. Oh, good one. Good one, good one. Dude, I got a good one. Oh my. <laughs> this may be one of the biggest ones I've ever caught. I hope it don't come off. Oh, go, no, no. Yeah! <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Yeah. Nice smallmouth. Man, this is like a, what a way to start. This is like a super awesome fish to catch. 2.2 pounds. Thought it might have been a little bigger. 2.2 pound smallmouth there. All right, we're putting it back in. 17 and a quarter inches, 2.2 pound smallmouth on the Helgramite. We've been out here, I've been out here literally like 20 minutes. What an incredible start to this trip. Both those are on the Helgramite. I'm throwing the swim bait a little bit too, but the water's a lot calmer through here. It's super clear too. That fish there, I was just, I was picking up and I looked and I saw it just come up and eat my lure and I just set the hook on it. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Big old largemouth. Holy cow. Yeah. Hey, that's a good bass. Oh my. Yes. Oh yeah. Dude. Oh, that's what I was wondering. Oh my good no. Who's things a giant? Right off those the tree over there. What a fish, dude. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, he was, he was right off that little tree right there. 
Man, that's a good fish. Three, seven, six. Wow. All right. Dude, that's an awesome bass out of here. 3.7 pounds. Oh my God, three pounds and almost 20. It's like right at the, almost the 20. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, so the river is really wide, especially here, but there's a bunch of these little islands that we're gonna we're gonna go around, but for the most part, it's really wide and uh, not too strong of a flow. The, it's not, um, the generator's not flowing real strong today, so it's just a great time to be out here fishing, cloudy, overcast, not even hot today. It's, feels really good. I'm just gonna, I'm, we're the, I'm the last one back following Eric here, so I kinda know what's going on and he knows this river better. Oh, there's a big fish right there. What is that? There's something big. It looked like a bass right right under that tree right there. Like swimming around. I don't know. There's one. It sunk, I sunk it down to the bottom and got him. I think the one I saw, I saw something big swimming there. But that's a nice bass. I think that's a really good one. Nice. Man, I could take these guys all day. It's a pretty small mouth. Got. What is this? It is a trout. It is a trout. No way. My... No. Okay. I'm trying to get my net. If it don't come off. Ah. Come off. Ah. Yep. <laughs> I took too long trying to find the net. There we go. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh my goodness, that's a good one. Uh, it came out uh, right off the bank on that one. That hell yep. It's sitting right in front of him and came over and got it. Oh my, that's a good one. Oh. Yes! Dude! Dude, that's... <laughs> All right, I gotta get out of this tree here. He just inhaled that thing. Look at that. That's a good sign. Look at that fish. Everyone has been right now has been on my medium light rod, 10 pound braid, eight pound leader. Goodness, that's a nice fish. That's one of the biggest small I've ever caught. 20 inches. 20 inches exactly. And as soon as Eric saw that, he goes, that's a 20 inch fish. Man. All right, we'll wait real quick. Got to weigh this one. I didn't know I was going to keep catching bigger fish. I've uh, been out here about two hours. I've lost a few trout. A couple of them hit the Helgramite and came off. We want to try to catch one for supper. 2.91s, so just under three pounds, 20 inch river bass. These river bass are so strong and they're longer, not as fat as like the lake ones. But man. <laughs> I can't be, uh, I can't ask for a better start to the day. Oh my goodness. There it goes. Just sitting there. That's a nice fish. All right, get this out of the tree. Get this, man, you gotta be careful. As soon as you catch a fish, it's like, it turns into work. Get out, get out of these trees, get out of these bushes. We got the wind blowing a little bit. It looks like it's gonna storm, but I don't think it's going, hopefully not. But these fish are definitely ready to eat. Oh, look what I found. A crawdad in my boat. This guy been munching 
And uh, somebody commented recently, oh, you found a crawdad in their mouth. You should be switching and fishing with crawdads. Well, I obviously caught it on the lure that I was throwing, so I'll just stick with the lure that I caught it on. Oh, oh, no, 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 it got me on a tree. Oh, there we go. Dude, they are hitting. This Helgramite is just sitting it out there in front of them. Just sitting it out there and drifting it right by these banks, coming out and getting it. Well, this wasn't part of the plan, but you never know what's gonna happen. Really wasn't a chance of rain today. It's raining. Started drizzling, drizzling, now it's raining a little bit harder. So I'm gonna put up some of my camera stuff, make sure everything's, anything that can get wet. Most everything's in waterproof stuff, but I got a few things I didn't want. I had out, I'm gonna put away in the waterproof stuff. But uh, I got one camera that's waterproof um, that I'll use if I catch anything while it's still raining. Hopefully it stops pretty soon, but just another part of the journey. You know how it is. So maybe I'll get the fish fired up and maybe some trout. I need to get a trout in for uh, eating tonight. Well, I was talking to myself and uh, what didn't even have a camera on. Just got back out um, uh, from taking my other camera off, cast in, and I get a trout. I saw, I thought I saw, I think I see a bunch of them hitting the top of the water. This rain has like got them fired up here. All right, so rainbow trout that's gonna be on the menu. I think Eric's got a stringer, so we'll try to get it down there and get it in the stringer. Oh yeah, Eric tricked up with a good one. First fish of the day, 18, look at that tail. You see that? Yeah. I can see nothing coming out of these areas. Oh, there we go. As soon as I say that, fish comes out. I gotta start saying that more often. This little guy. The little ones put up such a fight. They just a little bit bigger than I thought. They, they do, they look so small when they're out there. Then you get them in, you're like, wow, that's not bad. Look at the body on that one. He's got a, that's like a lake fish. So he's got a big body on him. Crawdad whiskers sticking out of his throat. I got one too. Oh, you got he got a big one down there. I got a little one. Eric got a good one right when I got this one same time. Is that a big one? Oh yeah, nice. I got a good one. Yeah, and I just got another one. Oh, I don't, I don't know if it's a small mouth or not. Oh, that's a good fish. He's splashing me like crazy. Large mouth. I'm racking up on the large mouth today. Second one, another good one. I'm, I'm, man, got me all wet, I think. There, I'm cruising down this spot. Just caught that little one. And I throw it out there and I'm, I'm adjusting my paddle which I always seem to be doing that. And then I saw him eat it and I just tried to set the hook because I saw him coming eat it. That's a nice little large mouth. Chopping back in, but he's right at 14 inches. Nice little bass. Yours was, your, your 18 inch was heavier than my 20 inch. It was about, they're both about, oh, that's a good one. That's a good fish. All right, he, this dude smacked it. I hope he stays on there. I was talking about a fish I caught earlier. I don't think he's a giant, but it's just dig, digging, digging, digging. Yeah, he's, pre yeah, he's pretty good. Yes! Get in the net. Oh, he swallowed that thing. He just inhaled it, yeah. Yeah, he, he was going all over the place. I'm about to get in the, get out of here. 
right off a log. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna get a length on this one real quick. I'm about to go into a tree. It's a pretty fish. Fifteen and a half. I'm going in the tree. Going in the tree, and I'm about to lose a rod. All right, we're putting him back in the water. About to lose a fishing pole. Dude, there's so much big old logs there. It could be anything living right there. There he is. There he is. <laughs> he was down at the bottom, came up and got it. Water here is about six, seven foot deep. Ain't nothing in that creek. I don't know what them guys are talking about. Makes it even that much better. <laughs> oh, dude, these guys are chunks. Except for that big, oh my goodness. They've been feasting on crawdads. This guy, he's got a giant crawdad pincher uh, coming out of him. He, I got him right off the bottom. These guys are down there munching. Nice fish. There's some fish over there, that's for sure. Oh, 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 got it. Large mouth. Uh, it's not that big. This ain't, a, this ain't a giant. He's just solid. Yeah, you said you saw a big one. I, I saw something behind my lure. I, I couldn't see it hardly. He just... Pretty thick. I think it maybe a fat female too. But this has been our best spot. He's caught. He's had a bunch of bites. I've had bites and caught two. And we caught we caught two over there. I think. <laughs> there, there, oh, 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 got him. That's a good one. Good one. What? Wait. What is that? White bass. I think that's a white bass. First white bass ever caught on the Helgramite. I catch a lot of them on swim baits. That's a good white bass. It may be what was nipping at your thing. That's a good white bass. Check that out. Dude, big old white bass on the Helgramite. Boom, another one species. I caught white bass. I never I never caught one on the Helgramite, I don't think. So I'm gonna add him to the stringer with my little trout. And um I think uh somebody will cook him up when we get back. All right, we are at our campsite. So we got a little spot that um, they know some people right on the on the river here. Um, got the kayaks dragged up over there. I got my stuff kind of organized. Got my tent, all our tents set up. So um, we got some couple burgers and some um, hot dogs, a couple things to eat like that. So we're gonna sit around. We got here uh, probably two hours before it got dark. So we got time to organize everything, get everything how we want it, get my tent up, everything situated. So this has been pretty cool. Been an awesome day. Caught way better fish than I thought I was gonna catch. Um, one that 20 inch was the second longest one ever caught, so uh, that's a pretty good fish. All right, this is that trout that I caught. Josh yeah, got it over here cooked up. Smells. Man, it smells good. Oh, look at that. The skin's just ripping right off. Yeah, I just, just it's a little bit of a mess. I just pulled the bones out of it. We may do. It's pretty good. It's like fish. <laughs> Tastes like fish, boys. Could could have used oh, a little more seasoning, maybe. Not horrible. It ain't the best, but it'll work. Yep, tastes like tuna fish out of the can. <laughs> we, would, we would survive if we had to. <laughs> this is what we have to live off of. Good thing we brought hot dogs. So we're gonna get up tomorrow and do it longer, like a longer trip than this. It's gonna be even. Uh, I think it, we did about six or seven miles a day. We're doing like ten to twelve miles tomorrow. So it's gonna be a long day. Hopefully, get on get, get on some more big fish and uh, have fun with that. Helgramite was definitely what worked today. We'll see what happens tomorrow.